fellow Namibians, when I look back to the past 12 months, which have defined the year of revival, I am pleased with the giant steps we have made as Namibians towards our collective prosperity. We are on course in our ambition to leave Namibia in better shape come March 2025. The foundations of the Namibian House have been strengthened. Namibia is on course for a sustainable economic revival. Undoubtedly, Namibians will not forget the calamity and devastation in 2020 caused by the invisible enemy, the COVID-19 pandemic. Namibians from all walks of life lost their loved ones. Lockdowns impacted sectors of our economy. Businesses closed down. Job losses occurred in the services sector. As we traversed these difficulties, the government increased the old age pension grant from a meager $600 in 2016 to $1,400 million. Before I leave office, I hope that the old age pension grant will be increased to $2,000 or maybe even $3,000. Food banks, which are now being converted into a conditional basic income grant, were rolled out to all regions of the country, assisting food insecure Namibians in urban and very urban areas. The Arambe Prosperity Plan 2, which I launched as part of a post-COVID-19 economic recovery plan, we have a specific focus on strengthening our social safety nets and the creation of new engines of growth is bearing fruit. The government established the Velvetia Fund to enhance national resilience and to promote intergenerational prosperity through redistribution of benefits from our natural resources in government. The GDP growth of 7.2% in the third quarter should give all of us hope and optimism for a future of shared prosperity. As we look to 2024 and beyond, it is clear that we are entering a year that promises the delivery of tangible outcomes that have been carefully curated throughout 2023. In 2024, we expect the announcement of concrete outcomes from the intensive offshore drilling of oil. We have now turned the tide, and the Namibian house is in much better shape. We have to look forward in our march towards shared prosperity. I call on each one of us to work harder for our collective welfare. I call on all of you to hold hands and to ensure that no one feels left out of the Namibian house. With these words, the year of expectation, the year of elections, it will be a new beginning for the Namibian house.